it is Friday morning. It is 5.40 in the morning, not even 5.40. All I'm gonna eat is that bacon and eggs that I just showed you and this one avocado. That's it. Keep following and I'll show you the course of the next few days. I am now in New York City, in the heart of Manhattan. It's 9.30 exactly. That's four hours after you saw that last clip. Obviously, not hungry at all right now. Just had an espresso. Uh, still not finished it. I had half a cup of espresso actually, double shot. And let's see when I start actually start feeling hungry. I'm at the shoot location right now. We're shooting right behind. Just started shooting and it has been exactly uh, five, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five and a half hours. Not much actually, around close to six hours. And no, not feeling hungry yet. <laughs> Update. So it's now 2.15. That makes it six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, almost nine hours. Uh, honestly, the hunger has not really struck. In fact, I'm not even sure if I'm feeling very hungry. The reason could be there was good food over there um, at, at the wedding. Just finished my wedding, got back here, checked into the hotel, as you can see. I'm having my, uh, you know, electrolytes, just salt and water, that's it, electrolytes. And um, sipping on, at it through the day. Not feeling very hungry, but going to touch nine hours. Let's see what, how long, how it progresses over the course of the next few hours, few days, let's see. Keep following. I've come to the end of the shoot, seven hours of shoot today. During the shoot, I put up a story on Instagram and my, my doctor looked at it and he asked me, are you fasting? Uh, and yeah, go down to Instagram and look at my stories. But he asked me, am I fasting? And he didn't realize that actually all this fasting began because of my conversation with him a couple of days ago. Okay, update. Uh, at around 13 hours of fasting, I did have a slight lightheadedness, which he had said that if you do, do get this lightheadedness, which means that you are either dehydrated or lacking salts. So I just had some of my uh, water, which has been um, mixed with a little bit of salt. I had that and it was gone immediately as he had predicted. So, and now I'm at 22.46, which means I plus 12, 17 hours. No, I don't feel hungry. Hunger is not there anymore. You know, at the, at the wedding itself, I was seeing all these people gorging on tons of carbs and I was wondering what's going on, but let's see. Uh, it's 17 hours now, tomorrow morning, of course, I'm not having breakfast and I plan to continue and I'll keep updating you. Next day morning, 8.21. That means it's been 27 hours since I had my last meal. And today morning I woke up, had, had my salt water and that's it. My feelings, well, I am not feeling hungry, but the moment I walk in front of a bakery or in any, any restaurant or anything, you get the, the, the smells of the food wafts in and it develops the cravings but that's not really you begin to understand that it's really craving you don't feel hunger anymore it's, it's rather interesting Ethiopia Guji from La Colum really really good coffee update 36 hours plus 17.51 I'm getting close to 37 hours now actually that's a huge pizza that my work colleagues are having back there not me let me see, put it this way I don't feel more hungry than I should that's interesting I don't feel in fact the hunger in fact is not there at all I stopped feeling hungry many hours ago actually and what is interesting is that around the 30 hour mark that's when I started getting a boost of energy strength I could carry things faster, move faster, run faster. It's getting to a point when it's getting more and more interesting. <laughs> I will keep updating you, just keep following and I'll give you more updates. Let's see how long this lasts because after a point of time, I have to eat. I guess so. 
I don't know. Simba, tell me, do I have to eat? Folks, almost 3.30 in the afternoon. That makes it almost 58 hours without food. Just salt water. Yesterday I was at New York City, Manhattan. I showed it to you. In the morning I had coffee, I showed that. And now I'm at Pennsylvania for another shoot at a go another gorgeous location. And to give you a feedback of how I'm feeling after 57 plus hours of no food at all. Let's put it this way. Today morning, after exactly 48, 49 hours actually, I passed motion. I feel perfectly fine. The only thing is that since I've been sleeping very little, just four hours a night, it's I'm just sleep deprived. Other than that, energy wise, fantastic energy. I'm not tired. I'm feeling fully energetic. I haven't done this ever in my life. You know, 57 hours for me, wow. And my doctor is saying, continue with it. Welcome to the magical world of fasting. <laughs> Keep following. I will break my fast tomorrow morning at 72 hours. And he also gave me an instruction of how to break fast. And I'll be sharing that with you. Finally, I'm going to break my fast. It is uh, almost 10.30. So that makes it 77 hours, actually 10.40 it will be 77 hours of no eating at all. Just salt water as I've been telling you. I'm going to break my fast with some, my doctor advised me, fat loading of course. So I'm going to have my favorite bacon and eggs, a little bit of fat loading and then a little bit later some heavy protein intake. To conclude this video, a few quick points. Firstly. I would not recommend anybody to do this unless you're already on an LCHF, low carb, high fat ketogenic diet, or you get recommended by a ketogenic, proper ketogenic doctor, uh, not somebody who's masquerading as, as a doctor or, a, or as an expert. Now, what do you take from this? Number one, the first 15 to 20 hours was challenging. Okay, just to let you know that I've been on uh, LCHF diet for nearly four years now. And uh, despite that, I've never really fasted other than on international flights. So when I started doing this fast, cons of course, consulting my uh, ketogenic doctor, when I started doing this fast, it was, I was not sure what's going to happen to my body. The first, so the first 15 to 20, 20 hours is a little challenging because I don't know what's happening to my body or where or what's going to happen to my body. But I, I kept going at it. You see, typically we are not conditioned mentally to in modern society that we can actually go long hours or even days of, of without eating food uh, or fasting so that's something that we are not uh, we're not accustomed to at all so when i tell people that i'm on a long fast this this stare at me as if i'm from another planet number two it's at the 24 to 28 hour mark that you start to feel the magic the magic of fasting my senses started getting sharper. You know, my hearing, my vision, uh, my taste, my sensory tastes. Uh, remember the coffee that I showed you in New York City, in Manhattan, when I was having? Fab fabulous, you know, I could feel everything, every note. I could distinguish every note. My reaction time, everything started getting faster. Number three, at 30 plus hours, my energy level started going through the roof. It was amazing. I could carry 10 to 12 kilos of uh, shooting gear in my outstretched arms because, you know, tripods and gear, my black magic, it's pretty heavy. And climbing, I was bounding up the steps with that kind of, uh, that kind of weight with my, in my outstretched arms. Four, I stopped feeling hungry altogether. Of course, you know, occasionally the, you're in a wedding, you're shooting, the smells of food are everywhere and it is tempting. And, I, and you just have to realize that these are just cravings. These are not real uh, there's not real hunger. So I never had really any pangs of hunger. Oh my God, I need to eat. No, it's it's all mental conditioning. I was doing fine. My energy levels were higher. I was sharp and I, I, I could continue. It's after 77 hours, 77 hours of not eating at all that I broke my fast. Now, why I broke my fast, I'll probably leave that for another video. But I would like to ask you a question for my viewers. Have you ever fasted? How long a fast have you done? What did you experience? Is it something that you would want to do? Because I think I'm going to keep this up because I felt phenomenally sharp and, and I, I could never imagine that I could get that good without eating food.
Do let me know in the comment section down below if you ever fasted, if you want to fast or you want to know more about this subject. And I definitely leave answers to each and every comment. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. Until then, cheers.